mass weight intensity mass weight you should know that the mass is a measure of amount of substance or matter in a body that is what we call mass the si unit for mass is x kilograms kg 1 gram is equal to 10 raised to power minus 3 kg and you should know that it 1 milligrams is equal to 10 raised to power minus 6 kg theek hai ji you should know that that mass is measured using a sliding mass balance beam balance or electronic balance theek hai this is how we measure the mass it's more easier to use the electronic balance and it is more accurate so uske baad hamare paas ek cheez aati hai inertia what is inertia it is the property of a mass which resist changes in its state of rest or uniform motion for example an object at rest will remain at rest and an object moving at a constant speed in a straight line will keep moving in a straight line unless there is a resultant force to change its state so inertia is the property of a mass a heavier cheez ko move karana bhi mushkil hota hai aur rokna bhi mushkil hota hai aur x iska smaller mass hai usko usko chalana bhi aasan hota hai aur usko rokna bhi aasan hota hai so a larger mass would have greater inertia and a smaller mass would have a smaller inertia you should know that that inertia is a property of mass the larger the mass the more difficult it is to move it and more difficult is to stop it you should know that the weights and therefore masses may be compared using a beam balance or equal arm balance right so we have here an empty bowl which is like this so first of all you will measure the mass of the empty bowl this is a bowl which contains the soup so for example this is 50.0 grams and i have here now this soup in this bowl like this we just kept the isko insert kar diya so this is 50 grams and this is 110 grams that we have right and we have some you know soup in this bowl theek hai ab aapke paas jo iski value aayegi wo 110.0 minus 50.0 this is going to be 60.0 grams so this is how you will calculate this is how you will find the mass of the soup uh, in the bowl right how do we measure the weight you should know that the weight is measured using a force meter or a newton meter because and uh, what we can do is force meter or newton meter kuch is tarah se hote hain ki we can attach, attach an object whose mass has to be whose weight has to be determined for example this is a newton meter here this and we have here mass which is like this and this is the newton meter that we have so yahan pe aapke paas jo hai wo this is zero this is 20 for example to aapke paas wo jo markings hain wo is tarah ho jayega ki wo niche chali jayegi right agar ye iska jo hai wo weight hai agar aapka 10 newton yahan pe to mass aapne lagaya hai lekin ye aapko weight de raha hai theek hai so we can attach an object whose weight has to be determined using a force meter or a newton meter theek hai ji and the scale in fact will give you reading in newton theek hai the scale will give you the reading in newton weight so you can measure the weight of the object by using a newton meter this is a newton meter or a force meter okay then we have gravitational fields right what is the gravitational field you should know that the gravitational field is a region of space where an object where a mass experiences a force a gravitational force okay ji 
आपके पास मास है अर्थ दिस इज द अर्थ दैट वी हैव एंड इसकी अर्थ की अपनी ग्रेविटेशनल फील्ड होगी ठीक है और कोई भी ऑब्जेक्ट कोई मास इसकी विसिनिटी में होगा वो यहां पे इसकी तरफ अट्रैक्ट हो जाएगा राइट सो ग्रेविटेशनल फील्ड इज द रीजन ऑफ स्पेस वेयर अ मास एक्सपीरियंसेस अ फोर्स राइट रिमेंबर यू शुड नो दैट द ग्रेविटेशनल पुल ऑन द ऑब्जेक्ट इज नोन एज एज द ग्रेविटेशनल फोर्स वी कॉल दैट द वेट Okay, the gravitational pull that you're having here is the weight. Okay, so the gravitational pull like that is that is the weight, and this leads us to the gravitational field strength. Okay, gravitational field strength. What is gravitational field strength? You should know that the gravitational field strength is given by the gravitational force on the mass m. Okay, there is going to be a gravitational force on this mass m, small mass m, right? For example. ये इसकी तरफ भी होगा लेकिन मैं इसके बारे में बात कर रहा हूं कि इसकी ग्रेविटेशनल फोर्स इस पे एक्ट कर रही है ओवर द मास सो दिस गिव्स अस द फॉर्मूला g इज इक्वल टू f ओवर m व्हिच इज इन फैक्ट w ओवर m दिस इज गिवन बाय वेट इज इक्वल टू mg The weight is equal to mg, and g is equal to w over m. The pull is the strongest as your this object is near this mass, right? It's stronger here, right? जितना करीब होगा उतनी ज़्यादा pull ज़्यादा होगा. This is the gravitational field strength that we have. This is the weight that we have, or gravitational force that we have. This is the mass that we have. Right? So we have weight is equal to mg. So gravitational field strength is a vector. The gravitational field strength is a vector, and you should know that the gravitational field strength has the same magnitude as gravitational acceleration. So you are very well familiar with the concept since g is w over m, and you know that the SI unit for weight are they are newton, right? SI units are newton. It's a force, or its SI units are what? Kilograms. SI units for g are what? Newton per kg. You should also know that the gravitational field strength and gravitational acceleration are precisely the same. I mean, their values same. But its ratio of weight over mass, because force over F is equal to m. It's there. You know, we will talk about this later. So that's why its the gravitational field strength and the gravitational acceleration. Or same, or its value is 9.8 newton per kg near the Earth's surface. Okay, gravitational field strength ki, or gravitational acceleration ki jo value hai, wo hai 9.8 meter per second square. Okay, I am gonna talk about the difference between weight and masses now. क्या क्या difference है? अभी तक हमने बात की है कि what is the weight? Uh, I told you how it is measured. Uh, I told you what is the gravitational field, and the gravitational field strength is the gravitational force per unit mass. Okay, it is the gravitational force per unit mass. Okay, or now we are going to the word weight and mass. Right. So as far as the weight is concerned, and as far as the mass is is concerned, there are differences between these two. Weight, जो है वो क्या है? It is the pull of gravity on an object. It is the pull of gravity on an object. What is mass? It is the amount of matter in a body. ठीक है, this is the gravitational pull. This is the amount of matter. Number two, this is a vector. So vector है तो इसकी magnitude भी होगी, direction भी होगी. ठीक है जी? और ये आपके पास स्केलर है मास इज अ स्केलर वेट के ऐसा यूनिट्स और न्यूटन ऐसा यूनिट्स किलोग्राम्स ठीक है वेट चेंजेस फ्रॉम प्लेस टू प्लेस एंड वेट इज डिफरेंट एट अर्थ एंड द मून राइट आल्सो मास इज कांस्टेंट जहां मर्जी ले जाए मास चेंज नहीं होगा आप मास को uh, अगर आप ले जाते हैं किसी जगह उठा के किसी और जगह पे तो चेंज नहीं होगा सो मास इज कॉन्स्टेंट रिगार्डलेस ऑफ द प्लेस और लोकेशन ठीक है कोई उसमें चेंजेस नहीं आएंगे अच्छा 
वेट को आप मेजर किससे करते हैं हाउ डू यू मेजर द वेट वेट इज मेजर्ड यूजिंग स्प्रिंग बैलेंस और फोर्स पीटर एंड मास इज मेजर्ड यूजिंग बीम बैलेंस और टॉप पैन बैलेंस सो दीज आर द वेरियस थिंग्स फॉर विच वी कैन यूज टू मेजर द वेट एंड द मास आई होप दिस इज क्लियर टू ऑल ऑफ यू लेट इज टॉक अबाउट डेंसिटी राइट वॉट इज डेंसिटी यू शुड नो दैट दैट द डेंसिटी ऑफ द सब्सटेंस is defined as its mass per unit volume you can write here density as mass over volume mass is in kilograms volume is in meter cube so density is mass over volume theek okay? hai the si unit for density or what si units for density are किलोग्राम मीटर क्यूब ये डेंसिटी का सिंबल है ये रो जो आपको नजर आ रहा है ना ये डेंसिटी का सिंबल है इसको रो कहते हैं रो इसके अदर यूनिट्स और ग्राम पर सीम क्यूब ठीक है दे आर डिफरेंट अदर यूनिट्स दैट यू कैन सी एंड यू शुड नो दैट समटाइम्स यू नीड टू कन्वर्ट इट सो वन ग्राम पर सीम क्यूब इज इन फैक्ट इक्वल टू वन थाउजेंड किलोग्राम पर मीटर You should know that that since density is mass over volume, and as far as the density is concerned, you should know that if you have two objects, if two objects are made up of the same material, they would have same densities. If two objects are, मतलब आपके पास एक copper का coin है और एक copper का rod है, तो दोनों जो है या copper की ring है, this is a copper ring. All of these are made up of, of, of the same material, so they have the same densities. Okay, because because its mass is volume, its volume will come in motion, and its density will be same. And question is, how do we find the density of a substance? Okay, so how do we find the density of a substance? Okay, so how do we find the density of a substance? Okay, so how do we find the density of a substance? Okay, so how do we find the density of a substance? Okay, so how do we find the density of a substance? Okay, so how do we find the density of a substance? Okay, so how do we find the density of a substance? Okay, so how do we find the density of a substance? Okay, so how do we find the density of a substance? Okay, so how do we find the density of a substance? Okay, so how do we find the density of a substance? Okay, so how do we find the density of a substance? Okay, so how do we find the density of a substance? Okay, so how do we find the density of a substance? Okay, so how do we find the density of a substance? Okay, so how do we find the density of a substance? Okay, so how do we find the density of a substance? Okay, so This is a cuboid, right? As you can see here, this, and uh, let's say this is the height of this cuboid, right? This is the width. This is the length. The volume would be what? Length into width into height, and uh, you can calculate the volume of a regular object by taking the measurements of the height, the the width, and the length. And how will you find the mass? You find the mass and electronic balance. So electronic balance होता है. वो आपके पास यूज होता है टू फाइंड द मास राइट तो डेंसिटी जब आप निकालेंगे तो डेंसिटी वुड बी सिंपली मास ओवर वॉल्यूम राइट यू डिवाइड द मास विद वॉल्यूम एंड यू विल गेट व्हाट यू गेट द डेंसिटी ऑफ दिस ऑब्जेक्ट राइट इज दैट क्लियर इस तरह से आप लोग इसको यस सर करना है ठीक है अच्छा कुछ चीजों की डेंसिटी जैसे आपको पता है डेंसिटी ऑफ अ सिलेंडर भी सेल सिलेंडर भी एक रेगुलर ऑब्जेक्ट है आपको उसका फॉर्मूला भी आना चाहिए डेंसिटी ऑफ अ सिलेंडर फॉर एग्जांपल वी हैव हियर सिलेंडर लाइक दिस लाइक दिस द लेंथ ऑफ द सिलेंडर इज द हाइट ऑफ द सिलेंडर इज एच द रेडियस इज आर एंड इफ यू कैलकुलेट द मास अच्छा ये सिलेंडर जो होता है वो कॉइन भी आपका हो सकता है कॉइन नहीं होता छोटा कॉइन जो होता है वो भी एक तरह का सिलेंडर होता है तो उसकी उसकी बाजू का डेंसिटी आपने निकालनी होती कैलकुलेट द डेंसिटी तो आपको रेडियस दिया होगा और आप इसकी इसकी हाइट दी होगी यू विल कैलकुलेट वॉल्यूम एज पाई आर स्क्वायर एच सो एच इज हेयर एंड व्हाट यू कैन डू इज यू कैन फाइंड डेंसिटी एज मास ओवर वॉल्यूम तो अगर मास आपने निकाल लिया फॉर एग्जांपल 200 ग्राम्स एंड वॉल्यूम आप निकाल लेंगे बाय पाई आर स्क्वायर एच सो यू कैन गेट व्हाट यू गेट 200 डिवाइडेड बाय पाई आर स्क्वायर Times h. Let's say h is 0.5. So this is 0.5. Once you do it, it will be 31.8 gram per cm cube. Let's say this is how you will calculate the density of a regular solid, including a cylinder. Clear? The online students is that clear? Yes, sir. Okay. Sometimes we have to determine the density of irregular solid. Which sinks, right? This was a regular solid. This was a regular solid, and uh, we have to determine the density of an irregular solid which 
six, for example. So for example, we have here an object and we need to determine its density. Now, first of all, what will you do? You will take its mass. लेंगे. For example, its mass comes to you with 25.0 grams. After that, what will you do? You have calculated the mass here. Then you have a cylinder, a measuring cylinder, for example. और इसमें वॉल्यूम आ रहा है वाटर का फॉर एग्जांपल हमारे पास ये मेजरिंग सिलेंडर है यहां पे और इसमें कुछ वॉल्यूम था वाटर का लाइक दिस वी ऐड दिस ऑब्जेक्ट इन दिस मेजरिंग सिलेंडर फॉर एग्जांपल दिस वाज 15 सीएम क्यूब एंड वी ऐड दिस 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 ऑब्जेक्ट इन दिस मेजरिंग सिलेंडर सो दैट दिस वॉल्यूम इज गोना राइज राइट सो फॉर एग्जांपल आपने इसके अंदर इसको ऐड किया और क्या होगा कि ये ऊपर राइज हो गया ठीक है ये ऊपर चला जाएगा ये चला जाएगा लेट्स से 25 सीएम क्यूब पर अब आपके पास मास तो यहां से आ गया था मास वाज 25 ग्राम्स और वॉल्यूम आपके पास आ रहा है v2 v1 इस 10 25.0 minus 15.0 which is 10 and this gives you what this gives you the density which is is 25 over 10 and the density of this object which sinks देखिए उसका वॉल्यूम आपके पास था 10 और उसका मास आपने निकाल लिया so the density is 2.5 gram per cm cube. So this is how you will find the density of an irregular object. You have to mass and the volume. Nikale. Density of a liquid. You have to have liquid and you have to have density. Nikale. Density of a liquid. For example, we have here a measuring cylinder. This and we have some mass which is here. And this is the measuring cylinder right here. We have, let's say, this a measuring cylinder ka mass 20 gram aa raha hai acha yahan pe ek button bhi hota hai usse bhi aap usko zero kar sakte hain lekin agar nahi hai to for example aap isme water add karenge ya jo bhi liquid add karenge uska aapne mass dekh lena kitna aa raha hai let's say ab mass aa raha hai isko 45.0 grams isme aapne liquid add kiya ab mass ho gaya hai 45 gram iska matlab hai ki jo mass ke andar change aaya hai if this is m2 and if this is m1 that is m2 minus m1 that is going to be 45 minus 25 that is this is 20 sorry this is 20 so this is going to be 25.0 uh, grams right so now you have acha volume aap yahan se dekh lenge yahan pe measuring cylinder pe markings hongi aur yahan pe aapke paas aa raha hai 25 cm cube aise hi ab aapke paas volume bhi aa raha hai aapke paas mass bhi aa raha hai what you'll do density is mass over volume the 25 over 25 would give you 1 gram per cm. So this is how you will find the density of a liquid, right? Did you declare? This is how you will find the density of the liquid. This is your mass density part. Now, 